Stop the research pain appearing in Microsoft Office. How can I stop the research pane from appearing in Microsoft Office, for example when I am holding Alt and click somewhere in an email in Outlook? This is unintentional and typically happens when I am Alt tabbing between windows and causes a painful delay. Can this be switched off? After fighting with this myself for years, I found out the answer. From Word, press Alt F11 to open the VB editor. Press Ctrl G to open the immediate window. Type this line and press Enter. Note that nothing will seem to happen, but you can go ahead and close the VB editor and Word. The next time you open Outlook, the feature should be disabled. Unfortunately, the answer is no, this can't be switched off. People have been wondering this for quite a while now, here's some examples dating back to like 2007. This URL. This URL. This URL. This URL. You'll probably have to rig up something cluggy to track the keys using auto hotkey or auto it or alike. Couple things you can try to live with it. Remove all entries from the research options and ensure it's not trying to access network-based research services, so at least it will open quickly. Leave the pane open all the time. Just shrink it down a bit or undock it and hide it someplace out of the way. Not the answer you want, I'm sure but it's the answer as far as I can find. I was able to turn mine off by opening the Outlook Options menu, File and GT, Options. Then go down to the Add-ins sub-tab. Once in the Add-ins menu, go to the bottom where it says, Manage, Com Add-ins, and click on the Go button. Uncheck the box next to Business Connectivity Services add-in, then click OK. This should keep the research pane from opening. You can also do this in Outlook via the Office 2010 no longer lets you remove via most of these solutions. Word, PowerPoint, and Excel allow you to use this easy solution. Outlook requires more hassle as it uses both explorers and inspectors, which in different contexts both have this command bar enabled. The solution is therefore two-part. Part 1 is setting up with events to handle creation of each new inspector. Generally these are whenever you open a message slash event slash etc, and they are created slash destroyed each time. So even if you hit every current inspector, your new ones will not have the command bar disabled. Put the following into this Outlook session in your VA editor, Alt plus F11. Each new inspector, an explorer, too, though I've yet to have an explorer created, will have its command bar disabled. However this only will get the menu gone from some of the views in Outlook. You will still need to run the following macro to remove it from all explorers. As best I can tell this is persistent when you close slash reopen Outlook. <laughs> 